One, two, three, four, five. We've got 10 bags full of golf clubs. How much are the golf clubs? $3 each. $3? Cool. I can do that. All right, folks, welcome back. Today is a flea market day. We haven't been to this particular flea market in a long time, but they always have golf clubs, so it should be a good time. They always have a bunch of interesting stuff, mm -hmm. too. So uh, we're gonna head out that way. We've got a couple of orders going out on our uh, Macari store. I think we listed three things yesterday and they sold within like 10 minutes. So <laughs> thank you guys for supporting the store as always. But uh, uh, first off, first business of the day, we are going to Dunkin' Donuts because I've been obsessed with these mini bagel bite things. Yeah. They're stuffed with cream cheese. Yeah, they're really good. We might get a coffee too because it is 7.45 in the morning, only 50 degrees. So <laughs> it's not terrible, but for Florida, it's a little chilly. Yeah. Hopefully the vendors are out today, but we'll, uh, we'll see. First, we gotta get some some of these bagel bites. Yes. All right, we'll let you know if they're good. Well, not off to the best start so far. They're out of the bagel. Actually, they're not out of it. Their turbo oven is broken, so they can only make regular bagels. We'll just have to make do. Yeah, Still very good. <laughs> world's largest mini stuffed bagel. <laughs> well, AKA a normal bagel. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the uh, flea market's uh, not a letdown, mm -hmm. but uh, we'll meet you there. There we go. Uh -oh. Fishing poles and golf clubs. And Pyrex. <laughs> oh, this is literally the best uh, vendor ever. Is that a pine meadow chipper? Yes, oh, nice. Pine meadow chipper. We've been looking, everybody's been asking us to do a review of this because we like the square strike to see if it's uh -huh. any good. What are the other clubs down here? We got Adams. Adams and then. Snake Eyes. Adams Idea 7 iron. 9 iron. How much are the golf clubs? $3 each. $3? Cool. I can do that. You want to look at the Pyrex? <laughs> you got two singles? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay. Serves you better than it has me. Oh, you didn't like it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just terrible. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it didn't help. <laughs> yeah. Have a good one. First golf club secured. Oh. I was just about to say, yeah, uh, if we don't buy as much today as we normally do, it's because we're moving, but now I see fishing stuff. <laughs> Shakespeare combo. Look at that. You got braid running to straight to a, a tiny little swim bait. I highly, yeah, I highly doubt that this rod in real can cast that. No, <laughs> but I would try. It'd be bird's nest city for sure. Come back here next week and make a fishing video. This is like literally... Every other booth has fishing stuff. Yeah, I've never seen this much. <laughs> Golf clubs. Old school bags. You got a bunch. Uh-huh. Let's see what we got down here. Yeah. <laughs> Fishing and golf go together. Got some uh, Bazooka J Max hybrids, Mizuno MX23, Olimar Tri Metal. Oh, we got the uh, the Prodigy. This is actually a really high end uh, junior club. That's what I was going to say. It looks like a junior. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh huh. Oh, look. Callaway Diablo. Nice. Callaway Diablo Forge. Cleveland Vass. Ugliest irons ever made. They won a major, though, so. Yep. There's a in yeah, the MX-23. Okay. How much are the golf clubs? Alright, uh, which one? Uh, uh which one? <laughs> which one? <laughs> um, I have this pair, I have this pair, and I have those. Cool. Which one you want to see? There's a colorway for, um, I want I do 100 on this one. 100? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> and then how much? This one. 50 on this one. 50? Mm -hmm. And then how much for um, these two right here? Uh, this two. Um, oh, and 15 each. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, we might be back. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Oh. How's it going? 
<laughs> How much are the golf clubs? Which ones? Uh, Different types. There. There's Odysseys, Pings, everything there. Oh, cool. There's more oh, there's more over here too. Okay. This is a three wood to the uh, driver that I use forever. Actually, it's an A flex. My dad might like this. Oh, That's yeah. pretty cool. Ping zings. What is this? Three iron down through lob wedge. That's pretty good. Yeah. Classics for sure. How much are you looking for these two guys? Adams and the Odyssey. Ten each. Ten each? Can you do fifteen? Yeah. Cool. How much are you looking for the uh, set of ping zings? I got 150 in them, I'll take 100. <laughs> yeah. I got, I, seriously, I got 150 I bought them for. Oh yeah, that's a good putters. set. Yep. It's and a good I got set. one of the putters over here, the Zing, Zinger. Oh yeah, that's it. was a Scottsdale, they stole it. <laughs> Someone stole it? Yeah, the Scottsdale, when I went up to pay at the auction, I went back and it wasn't in the bag. Oh, oh really? Scottsdale long shaft. <laughs> take 100 for the black set. It's got three loft wedges in it. Mm-hmm, I saw it. It's, it's a good set. It's, it's black, it's the top of the line. Yep. Yeah. You can't get better than black. I mean, it's an old set, yes, but it's it is what it is. It's really yep. black. There's still a huge market for them. I mean, it's, uh, I looked them up. They're 180 dollars for that set used. Mm -hmm. So 100's cheap. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah. Nice. We got an Odyssey uh, Dual Force Blade Putter. I've never uh, hit this before. Yeah. Used to see it in the uh, golf shop, and this this will tell you how old this is. It was when Odysseys were like in a case. Now they have like Scotty Camerons and Bettinardis, but this thing was in a case. And then when I was a kid, I was always change. yeah. I was when I was a kid, I was always like, oh, they probably aren't gonna let me uh, try that out. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> old, old school Tigger. How much is the uh, little Tigger? What? That? This one? Yeah. Five bucks. Five bucks? How much is uh, this guy right here? GD5 for both of those? No. No? I cannot. Okay. This $10, $8 this one. Eight. Eight and then five for this? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Both $10. <laughs> All right, I can do that. You got a deal. Ten bucks. Okay. Ten for you, ten for me. <laughs> oh, she's got the money out first. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. Have a good day. You too, thank you. Yeah, we got an old school ticker. And look at that, old school Nike Golf. It's like a duffel bag. Cool. Yeah. I didn't even notice what you were standing over there for. Yeah, I was like, how much for the Tigger? Then I was going to bundle this with it. Hopefully, he was going to throw it in for a dollar. But I think he, yeah. he, uh. Well, did you see his hat? Oh, he's a USGA member? Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All we need uh, is uh, maybe like a fishing lure and some Pyrex. And we have completed the day for sure. <laughs> we will go out here and uh, try these clubs out and everything. So. Stay tuned for that, mm -hmm. but uh, hopefully you guys are liking the video so far. Fun to be back out at the flea market. Yes. Oh, that is so cool. It's like a little uh, Mickey Mouse kids book uh, holder, I think. Like a bookend thing. What are these things called? Magazine holder? Yeah, like a magazine holder. That's cool. Three dollars? Sounds good to me. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one. You too. Sweet, we got a uh, Mickey magazine holder. That's really cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold the golf digests in there. <laughs> gator fishing. It's a back scratcher. I forget when gator season is. There's a, a guy who worked at a restaurant we used to go to all the time. His literal job was, he was like a waiter. And then his job was being a uh, guide, a gator guide. He like took people out on gator hunts and everything. Yeah. He always tried to convince us to do it, and I was like, eh, I'm busy that day. <laughs> I didn't say what day. Oh, I'm going to be busy. Yeah. 
it's more of like, you know, I just stand. I like watching people do it on TV. That, that's as far as I go. Yeah, <laughs> that's as close as I will go. <laughs> Literally. When you go fishing though, like even when you're on a boat, gators don't really bother me. It's more of the snakes. Snakes are like, they're like out to kill you. Yeah. Gators are like, oh, don't mess with me. And if you like start messing with me, I'll mess with you. Snakes are like, I'll go kill you. Some golf clubs. How's it going? How much are the clubs? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Disneyland pinball machine, California. I'm sorry. That's okay. How much are the golf clubs? Okay. I have to explain a little bit because they are not mine. Okay. They're a neighbor of mine, and he wants 50 bucks a piece for them. Now, from other people that have come by, two of them are worth 50 bucks. The other ones are only worth like 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. And I keep telling him that. <laughs> yeah. And he doesn't want to budge. Got you. They're not mine. So don't don't hold me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know if you would do a bundle on them? I. That's a good question. I'll have to ask. Them. Okay. How much is the uh, the uh, pinball? That's a hundred bucks. That's worth it. That's cool. Yes. Well, if then you know if you got a second, I'll explain a little bit about this. I've got more than a second yet. <laughs> this is this is from the early, the late fifties, early sixties. That is really cool. It sits on the table like this. The reason why it's that is because it's missing the, like a piece of a uh, hanger yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that would fit there. These go for $150 on the internet. I'm asking $100 because it's got a chip out of it here and there's some stress cracks throughout it. It does function. <laughs> it works. Yeah. That's cool. That's why I'm asking 100 bucks. Cool. Have a good one. Everything here is a dollar. How's it going? How hey, how's it going? Cool bottles are free. Whoop. Oh. You need any pill balls? Uh, no, okay. Or anything? All right, have a great day. You too, thank you. Anything good? Just this. <laughs> it's useful. <laughs> about halfway. How you guys doing? Good. How are you? Good. We met you here last year, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Can't. This is hard to recognize people and everything. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This is our Been first time. Your videos, whenever. Oh yeah. Oh. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. What was your name again? Bill. Bill. Okay. Yep. Uh, you put us in your video. You said you run into two subs yeah. and they were both named Bill. Right? Yeah, on the same day. It was kind of funny. <laughs> you don't mind if we put you in the video? Okay, cool. I watch the fishing channel sometimes. Oh, yeah. We got to get more videos out there. The weather's better. It's going to be a lot more fishing. Yeah, golf in the summer and fishing in the summer is a little, yeah, little budge. Yeah. Have a good one. Cool. He's back. That guy, oh, he has like a thousand golf clubs. He rotates them. Yep. Dang. One, two, three, four, five. He's got ten bags full of golf clubs. Let's see what he's got today. Some pretty good golf bags too. Yeah. Alright. See what we got. Slesinger, Tommy Armor, Big Bertha Wedge, Taylor Made 360, classic for sure. Titleist DCIs. Oh, it's almost like my cylinder putter. <laughs> it's like a teardrop. The cylinder putter is still in the bag, guys. You guys ask about that? And get apart with it anytime oh. soon. Got a looks like a full set of these uh, X14s and a full set of the DCI nine. What are those? I haven't seen these before. Nine eight one eight L. Hm. I used to play the Titleist DCI nine nineties forever. Probably should bring those back out. Be like <laughs> I went through all these golf clubs and went back to my uh, junior clubs. Uh -huh. Cleveland Tour Action TA fives. Man, he's always got such good stuff. Walter Hagen, Nike Junior Approach Wedge. This is a ladies thing, Moxie? Yeah, uh, no, it's a juniors. Oh. It's two high end uh, Ping Junior clubs today. Yeah. Oh, here you go. It's the uh, IRT5. It's kind of like a, it's the same people who make Square Strike. It's got like the, the railer. Yeah. The made railer. That's cool. R510. <laughs> One of our uh, subscribers sent us the R510 TP in our last unboxing video. I'll leave that uh, linked in the description below. I think his name was Matthew, so yeah. another thank you to Matthew. How much are the golf clubs? Adams or So random one? Uh, five, five bucks? Cool, I can do that. Alright, thank you.
All right, folks, Ashley and I just got done testing these clubs out. Let's take a quick look at every one of them. We got my clubs in here too. We got the Adams Insight uh, three wood. That was pretty good. I actually used to use the uh, driver, the big, ugly, long version of that, the driver one, and it was pretty good. My dad still uses that, and it's yeah. about 15 years old. It was uh, good to find that. It's a senior flex, so maybe he'll like that. And then we got the Pine Meadow Wedge. I hit a full shot with it, pretty good. And then chipping was actually surprisingly good. I usually like the square strike because it's got a little bit more loft, and I hit full shots with that too. But this uh, pine meadow wedge definitely a good option doesn't quite get the ball up in the air as much so it's basically just a chipper is not as versatile but did you like it yeah that was pretty good yeah it's pretty good and these things go for like super cheap you can get them on amazon i think they're like 40 or 50 bucks and then uh, used they don't go for much at all and then we got this odyssey putter which must be defective because i made three putts in a row with it and ashley the world's greatest putter she missed two in a row That's i don't know painful. Yeah, it we still get, looks really cool though. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> looks pretty cool. A uh, classic style, but uh, this is like the uh, Wilson 8802 style putter, but with the uh, insert there, the dual force insert, yeah. a classic for sure. And then the find of the day in terms of the golf clubs is this IRT5. It's an infomercial club, same people who make the uh, square strike and the uh, moon woods and the stand up putter and stuff like that. Yeah, but, I'm trying to pull up their uh, logo now. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, their uh, marketing is hilarious. <laughs> launch it high, launch it straight. Finally, a hybrid that delivers what others only promise. Yeah, and then these like where the rails are called like machete rails yes, or something like that. They go for like $80 on eBay, even used. So yeah. definitely a good deal there. And we both hit it pretty good. So mm -hmm. definitely a good find there and had a lot of fun going out to the flea market. Hadn't been to that one in a no. long time. Some of the uh, same vendors were there, some new ones, yep. but uh, definitely some good stuff. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you did hit the like button and subscribe and see you next time. See you next time guys. Thanks for watching.